Good morning. William Mirrors over here, one year, like what it odi. Iburu, Iboya, Ibochiche. Odum, Oye Kumba Trupo. Pataki. Orumila was on his way to a town called Yoroko. And on the way to this town, Orumila encountered a woman, a pregnant woman. And the woman said to Orumila, Can you help me? I'm hungry. I'm sick. I need some assistance. Orumila said, Follow me to the next town. I'm on my way there and there's food and we can sit and eat and I have a hidden stash of food somewhere that you can have in a tree nearby there was a bird known as Akampala and the bird heard everything that Orumila and this woman were saying so as Orumila and this woman were on their way to Yorooko the bird flew ahead of them and met with the people of the town and told them that Orumila was on his way with a pregnant woman, but their intentions were to steal food and to rob people for, from their fortunes and other lies. So the townspeople were concerned and, and frightened, so they began to barricade the entrance to this town. And when Orumila and this woman arrived, they threatened Orumila and this woman their lives I told them get out of here we'll kill you so Orumila and the woman fled for their lives and they went to the neighboring town where they encountered Ogun who was getting ready to go off into battle and Ogun saluted Orumila and uh, saw that Orumila was uh, in distress and asked him what was going on and Orumila explained the situation before Orumila could even finish the complete explanation, Ogun said, say no more, let's go. Ogun went straight to Yokohora and began to decapitate the villagers. Whoever he saw, they would decapitate. So the king found out what was going on and he asked his villagers to go investigate a little bit more. And Ogun told the villagers, tell your king that I will continue to decapitate everyone and anyone until the king makes Akampala, the bird, the servant of Orumila. The bird and his family, the servants of Orumila. And that they must complete a bow with Orumila to appease Orumila. 